Welcome. We're so excited to have you take part in this neurotech course. It's an educational training course for learning how to translate and commercialize neurotechnology. It's been kindly supported by the NIH Blueprint for Neuroscience Research. The material that we've put together in this course is really designed for those of you interested in learning how to translate neurotechnology, bringing it from the concept to the clinic, and also learning how to commercialize that neurotechnology to broaden its clinical impact. As you'll see as part of the online lectures and uh, workshop, this program is supported by program faculty uh, from all aspects of the translational and commercialization pathways. So the, fa the program faculty come from medical device manufacturers, contract research organizations, regulatory agencies, funding agencies, law offices, venture funding, and academic universities. And we're very excited to have them uh, contribute to the educational content of this course. I'd like to take this opportunity to introduce the course organizers. Um, I'm Matt Johnson. I'm a professor in biomedical engineering at the University of Minnesota and part of the Bakken Medical Devices Center. My research group has done a fair bit of work developing neurotechnology and, and translating that uh, to the clinic and um, embarking on clinical trials. Hi, my name is Tay Dudoff, and I'm a professor in the Department of Biomedical Engineering at the University of Minnesota. I have a lab that studies neuromodulation, and I'm also a founder of a small company in the neurotech space. While helping to organize this course, I've really learned a lot about taking a company from concept to clinic to commercialization. And I hope you learn and have enjoyed this course as much as I have. Thank you. Hello, I'm Ranu Jung. I'm a professor of biomedical engineering at Florida International University in Miami, Florida. My adaptive neural systems lab is interested in use of neurotechnology to investigate the nervous system. We are also interested in development and deployment of neurotechnology for restoration and recovery of function lost to disease or trauma. Academic, industry, and clinical partnerships have allowed us to develop implantable neurotechnology and take it through the process of obtaining an investigational device exemption from the FDA to start a first-in-human clinical trial. As Tay Netoff said earlier, this course will offer you the opportunity to learn about several steps for development of the concept to delivery of commercializable, safe, and reliable neurotechnology to the clinic, all the time keeping in mind the goal of meeting the user and all other stakeholders' needs. Hi, I'm Kristen Welly. Um, I'm at the University of Colorado in the medical campus. And my lab here works on developing neurotechnology to drive plasticity in the nervous system. Um, I also have a background in regulatory affairs, um, working at the FDA for five years, and uh, I bring expertise in early device development. This course has also been supported by two wonderful people, Paul Rothweiler, at the Bakken Medical Devices Center at the University of Minnesota, and Renee Shu, an educational consultant. To give you um, a little overview of the course contents, um, this, this is a comprehensive educational training course on the best practices for successfully navigating the translational and commercialization pathways for neural medical devices. Uh, this course includes um, two parts. First, an online curriculum, which is a series of video lectures that can be viewed asynchronously. Um, these lectures have learning objectives and self-assessments. Uh, the second part is an annual workshop. Uh, participants who have successfully completed the online curriculum will be able to work with program faculty and hands-on exercises to gain expertise with several critical steps to translate and commercialize neurotechnology. Um, and there will be two separate certificates of completion for these two portions of the course. Hi, I'm going to tell you about the four learning objectives of this neurotechnology course. The first objective is to teach you about the process of navigating neurotechnology through the three stages of preclinical, clinical, and commercialization. And the course is roughly divided into these three sections. Second, we'll look at the common barriers to successful commercialization of neurotechnology. Third, the process from concept to commercialization is different depending on the technology you are developing. So we will learn how the process differs depending on your technology. And finally, we can't cover everything that you need to know to take your technology from concept to commercialization. 
So we will also provide you with the resources that are available to further expand your knowledge. Thanks. The way this course is organized is that it is a self-paced course with several topics and units. You can move from topic to topic. Each unit is narrated by a lecturer and is self-contained. Each unit has learning objectives associated with it and some questions that will allow self-assessment of your understanding of the concepts that have been covered. Each unit also has information about additional resources. The course begins with key decision points for consideration as one identifies user needs and concept generation for the design, development, and ultimately deployment of the neurotechnology. You will end with a comprehensive understanding of all the topics you must consider for making this pathway a reality. The several lectures in between will guide you through many topics that you can revisit as often as you choose and in whichever order you want to choose. We hope that you will enjoy this course and that it will become a very valuable resource to you and your team members as you embark on your journey to develop novel neurotechnologies for alleviating the impact of disease and trauma and offering health and well-being.